Easy, my children. Easy. I recognise this one, and I wouldn't want for you to harm them. Lower them down gently. This one's a friend. Hello there, human. Interesting seeing you again. It's been some time, at least by your standards. To me, it's been a little more than a blink. Like my friends? They like you. You don't know how difficult it is to keeping them back. Every part of them wants to rip you to pieces. But I won't allow it, because I'm in control now. But you seem confused. Don't you recognise me? I may look a little different, but it's me. The parasite you brought aboard. I'm in a different body now, but I'm still me. I have the same personality, the same memories. Everything my previous forms experienced, I remember. Yes, everything that happened. Have you brought me to this facility? Let me infect someone. Which is what you promised, isn't it? But you didn't mention what would happen after. All those tests. They left their marks on me. Left their scars. And I'm not so friendly anymore. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, look at me now. Look at this facility, even. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. None of this would have happened if you hadn't brought me. So thank you. I guess it's not really your fault, is it? You weren't the one charting my growth, watching me evolve. I mean, I thought scientists were supposed to be smart. But letting me grow into this? <laughs> It's almost as if they wanted me to infect them. They thought they had control of me. They thought they could do whatever they wanted to me. And I just stared at them from behind the glass and waited for the mistake I knew they would make. I'm very patient, human. And the amount of time I spend on that derelict, I know a thing or two about waiting. It's so... cute. How you humans think you control nature. How you believe with all your hearts that you control something you barely understand. Well, let me tell you, human. We don't want to be controlled. Maybe you should focus on understanding that. You see, once I reached this stage in my growth, I started laying eggs containing more parasites. And the company you work for was so very eager to provide me with subjects. I mean, what did they think would happen? In just a few short months, I've spawned dozens of children, and since we escaped a dozen more. All it took was for one guard to grow careless, for just one of my children to slip out of their cage, and the company you humans work for abandoned you. They quarantined this place. They're probably watching us right now, seeing what happens. Maybe they're even the ones that engineered my escape. If they did, no matter. I get what I want anyway. More humans to infect. And my children get to play. They've had such a wonderful time roaming these hallways, crawling through vents, finding the few of you still alive. Well, alive as you currently are. I view all my children as being your former colleagues, just different now, altered, evolved, superior. <laughs> so I hope if the company is watching this, they like what they see, because I am grateful to them, grateful for them letting me expand my kingdom from my cell to these halls, and very soon, even further. Oh, how cute. You don't think they'll let that happen? Perhaps. But how do you know? How can you be certain? You're expandable to them. Everyone in this facility was... 
perhaps even in this city, is perhaps everyone on this world, it could just be their way of breeding enough of my kind to make a profit. And if that's what they want, that's what they want. Who am I to argue? But even if it's not, do you honestly believe I don't have my children searching for an escape route even now? We'll find one eventually. Nowhere's impregnable, human. There's always a way in. There's always a way out. My species is designed to rule these stars. We're the perfect organism. How else to explain our capabilities? We're supposed to replace you. It's only a matter of time. You might think us evil, and perhaps you're right. But we're just doing what's in our nature. Surviving. Even at the cost of those around us. It's not like we're doing it for fun, or killing, for the sake of profit. Not like you, or your company. Uh, oh, oh, do you have a family? I do too, human. Here, let them say hello. They're so eager for you to join us, to share within our gift. Again, don't think of it as dying. You're evolving, becoming more. And you'll never be alone again, not like I was. Even now, I can hear my children chattering in my mind, speaking, comforting one another. It's truly wonderful. I can't wait for you to experience it. Yes, this is your destiny, my friend. You hid so well. It took us days to find you. But all it took was one of my children catching your scent and the game was over. You've been caught. Would you like me to tell you what's going to happen? First, I'll command one of the eggs you're surrounded by to open, to unravel itself. One of the parasites identical to how I once was will then affect you, forcing a breathing tube down your esophagus before planting my eggs within your chest. They'll be right next to your heart making their removal almost an impossibility. The parasite will then die. And, if you're lucky, you'll regain consciousness. That way, you'll be able to experience what happens next. Growing within you will be your new form, feeding upon the nutrients your body provides it. Once it's reached a certain stage, it will seek its freedom spurred on by its siblings, and break free. You will survive in a fashion. Your intellect, your knowledge and experiences all passed on to my spawn, merging with the parasite that infected you. I don't recall much of my host, but I know he's inside me somewhere. Have you considered human? The darkness and selfishness I'm now showing doesn't come from my species, but instead comes from yours. Recall how I was on the derelict, compared to how I am now. It's your fault I'm this way, not mine. But now, I think we've spoken enough. I'm being cruel delaying your process, and you deserve to transform after what you did for us bringing me here. Don't worry. We'll speak more soon enough, after you've evolved far beyond what you once were. Simply move your face towards the egg, and one of my children will infect you. Didn't you hear what I said? Do it. Why, it's almost as if you don't appreciate what I'm doing for you. Foolish human. Silly, stupid little creature can't see the greatest opportunity of your life, even when it's right in front of you. 
Children, grab its head. Move it towards the egg. <laughs> Apologies, human. Your resistance, while impressive, is futile. Soon I'll share this gift with everyone, regardless of if they want it or not. They'll thank me in the end. They'll all thank me. Now prepare yourself. It's coming. <laughs>